Jennifer Kloss, and I'm an art advisor. Today, I'm at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth to see the new exhibition, Takashi Murakami, The Octopus Eats Its Own Leg. I'm excited to have with me Andrea Carnes, senior curator, who is going to give us some insights about this major retrospective on the Japanese contemporary artist. And I have to ask, what does the title mean? So the title of the exhibition is a little bit strange, The Octopus Eats Its Own Leg. But the idea is that an octopus, if it's distressed, will like tear off its own leg or chew off its own tentacle, knowing that it'll regenerate. So the idea is kind of that as an artist, after you create a bunch of work or finish a body of work, you're sort of, there's this anxiety that comes about um, because you need to create new work. So it's that idea of being at a moment of regeneration as an artist. Well, throughout the exhibition, there are many different motifs and visual vocabulary for Murakami. Can we start with Mr. Daub? And can you tell us how that character originated and what it really means? So I'm not sure I can tell you what it really means, but I can tell you that Mr. Daub is Murakami's alter ego. So anything that Murakami thinks about or is in his unconscious or subconscious mind can come out in the form of Mr. Daub. Since Mr. Dobbs beginning, the whole form has become abstracted, um, which you can see really in a work like this. This, this is, um, it's called Tan Tan Bo Puking, but it's a Mr. Dobb character with, again, you see the D and the B on the ears, mm -hmm. and then um, <laughs> he's throwing up. But I think really it's an excuse for Murakami to draw on a character that he uses regularly and deconstruct it, basically. Okay, so Andrea, tell us a little bit about these characters. Sure, um, these characters are called Kai Kai and Kiki, and the name of Murakami's um, atelier is Kai Kai Kiki. So these are really the mascots for his studio and for his practice as an artist. Um, again, sort of like Mr. Dobb is the alter ego for Takashi, these are angel devil characters. So Kai Kai is the sweet one and Kiki is the devilish one. And they each have their names in Japanese characters on their ears. And he's incorporated, it looks like, other, some of his other motifs with the jellyfish eyes and the flower orbs right. as well. From this point in the exhibition, you can see three of Takashi's main motifs, the smiling daisies, Kai Kai Kiki, and the jellyfish eyes in the back. The jellyfish eye paintings are on jellyfish eye wallpaper. You know, for a lot of artists, sort of coming at something reductively or minimally is you know, the, the, the process, but for Murakami, it is always more is more. So the idea of layering the same motif on top of each other in different mediums is a common theme throughout the exhibition. These works, these super flat works, including this early sculpture, are all come from Murakami's super flat phase. Um, so for Murakami, even though this is sculpture, the way the paint is flat on the surfaces of the forms and sort of the kind of plastic look of all of it is, for him it's like, even though it's three-dimensional, it's more like a painting in three dimensions. I think what's interesting here is that you see the sculpture of Mr. Dobb, and then each of the paintings is a completely deconstructed Mr. Dobb. And you can see his eyes and his mouth and his ears, and then a lot of monochromatic paint in between. But it, it relates to the paintings on the walls that are flattened out. It's a nice representation of the super flat idea. In right. The, in, in the two dimension and the three dimension with the Absolutely. sculptures. I'm now in one of my favorite rooms of the exhibition. It is an immersive look at the Smiling Daisy. 
From a collecting standpoint, you can see that these smiling daisies are iconic to Murakami's practice and widely collected by museums and private collectors internationally. standing in front of a large-scale painting of his most recent motif, the Arhats. So Andrea, tell us a little bit about what, what is an Arhat? So an Arhat is a Buddhist monk, and this motif came into being from Murakami in about 2008 after Fukushima and the earthquake and the tsunami that ensued. Murakami wanted to sort of make an homage to those people who lost their lives and people who were suffering because they lost loved ones. So he began to make these Arhat monks, which Arhat monks traditionally are the monks who bring peace to people who are suffering. But the Arhats become another motif for Murakami, another go-to motif, kind of like Mr. Dobb or the Smiling Daisies, but what he can change about them are their colors, maybe the color of their eyes, or how he does their eyes, or their teeth, or their toenails, or their fingernails. And we talked earlier about the kind of monochromatic surfaces of the early works, and here is a good place to look at a different technique and sort of the layering of color in each little section. So Andrea, if you could sum up Murakami in one word or one phrase, what would it be? Hmm, I mean, if I, I feel like if we weren't standing in front of this painting, the answer would be pop, but maybe the right answer is multifaceted. I mean, a lot of people, when they think of Takashi Murakami, think pop art, and that is, of course, what he is engaged with as an artist, but the other parts of his practice have to do with being deeply tied to the history of Japan and also to ancient Japanese techniques. So though he started as a Nihonga painter, as a student, he moved to you know, more contemporary forms of painting. So if you see the exhibition, you'll see that it actually, there's, there's so many layers past pop culture. Well, thank you so much for your insights, and I hope that all visitors will come and enjoy the exhibition. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. I hope everyone comes too. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at Takashi Murakami. I'd like to thank senior curator Andrea Carnes for sharing her insights. And thank you for joining me for Collector House Conversations. See you next time.